So the most important electronic gadget we have today from which we can stay away for a moment is our smartphone. If someone asked us what would life be like without cell phones, then maybe it can be a matter of deep concern for us. No one in the whole world can deny this fact that smartphones are so efficient that they have recouped certain things in our life. For example, landline phones, alarm clock, camera, calculator, etc. which has reduced our burden. On the other hand, we have become so accustomed to our smartphone that it has turned into the biggest distraction for us. And because of it, we can't even focus on some of the most important things in our life. This is Infology. And today, we will be answering an extraordinary question. What if smartphones were never invented? Clearly, the smartphone is a different breed from all that came before it, including those ones super sleek and ultra stylish flip phones of the 90s and the humongous bricks that were proudly carried in the late 70s and the 80s. The first smartphone device was a Simon Personal Communicator from IBM, developed in 1992, although it was three more years before the term smartphone was even widely spoken about. As such, we still have two distinct social groups when it comes to how we view advanced mobile devices. You are either a digital immigrant or a digital native. That is, you have neither adapted to, accepted, possibly rejected certain tech trends that have risen in your lifetime. Or you have never known anything different because smartphones and the like have been around since the day you were born. In an updated 2019 report from the PEW Research Center in Washington, D.C., approximately 96% of Americans own a cell phone of some design with 81% owning a smartphone. Less than a decade ago, smartphone ownership was just at 35%. It shows that tech natives amongst us are increasingly attached to the mobile devices. Take smartphones away forever then, or in fact, never introduce them in the first place, and the whole world would suddenly feel very different, for better and for worse. Without smartphones, we would have the freedom of not being connected 24 into 7. New selfies, photos for lunches, and no sharing on the spot status update. We would be forced to actually live in the moment, make our memories, and rely only upon them. Without smartphones as a distraction, it is also possible that we can improve our creativity skills. The so-called fear of missing out would disappear too. Of course, were smartphones never to happen, we wouldn't be switched off completely. Other computers and the internet would still exist. It's just that handheld, pocket-sized access point to the internet wouldn't. We would still have the wealth of information that the internet offers us, but we would lose all the smartphone-specific benefits like the traffic updates, GPS maps, immediate access to breaking news, up-to-date weather alerts, etc. We would still be able to communicate with friends and relatives all around the world through email, landline, or postal service but the immediacy of texting, picture messaging, or video calling wouldn't be there. Still, the argument that we over-rely on our smartphones for superficial reasons is often repeated, particularly when it comes to social media. But it is also possible that, without a constant state of self-aware connection, we would see a decline in the number of young people hurting from social anxiety. Today's smartphone market is also a big business, with multiple companies like Apple, Samsung competing for a custom. As you can see in several advertisements, there are many agencies that try to promote their mobile phones to us. Those products are interesting and can load customers to buy them easily. They will present about new applications, programs, and styles that can persuade us. In contrast, mobile phones with many applications will be expensive. Phone producers will change their phone style a little and promote them again. When we will see them, we will think that they are new and we will buy them. Needless to say, if smartphones weren't a thing, all of these companies would look radically different. Could Apple, for instance, whose business today largely relies on the prevalence of the iPhone, even stay afloat? The lives of any business professional would clearly be different as well. Employer expectations in terms of productivity have tended to increase as per the rise of the smartphone. Workforce is rarely away from the desk nowadays, thanks to email apps that are always on. But without smartphones, it would be easier to finish off for the weekend and actually mean it. Also without smartphones, face-to-face -face interactions would have also evolved differently. 
Meanwhile, the way in which companies advertise themselves might have evolved differently too. Through social media would still prove an effective platform without customers who are glued to their mobile phones, business owners might have more heavily relied on word of mouth as a genuine success. In a research, it was found that students preferred phones to communicate instead of person-to-person -person communication. Interestingly, nearly 90% of the students from the research also complained that real-life conversations were ruined if the other person was using the mobile at the same time. But this wouldn't be a problem either. Without phones, children won't have the habitual need to check their phones at any moment, which would result in closer relationships, less distraction in class, and also less social pressure. And well, if we say that cell phones are perfectly possible, but the person who invented them in the real world doesn't, then chances are high that someone else would invent them not too much later. In terms of the social situations without smartphones, we would never have seen the emergence of apps such as Amazon, Flipkart. All things considered, social situations would be a whole more lot social without smartphones to get in the way. So that's work and play. But what about schools and home? Sadly, erasing of smartphones from our cultural history wouldn't erase bullying in general. But we might never have seen the widely reported rise in online abuse that young people suffer today. However, smartphones have also become a vital tool for research. So there are some obvious downsides for education, not least that assignments would be harder to complete and large families would still have to give time to home computer to ensure that everyone could access the internet for their studies. We would also never have grown used to easily answering practically any question or settling practically any debate with just a few taps on our phones. Instead, we would still have to learn and memorize information to access it from our own brains if it's ever needed. So, there's a chance that without smartphones, although the amount of knowledge we could instantly access would dramatically fall our brain power would increase. Strangely, the differences in the way our brains work wouldn't be the only biological change because we might also have smaller thumbs. Yes, according to a 2016 study in the UK, one in 20 people felt that the thumbs they usually use for swiping through their phones seem to have grown bigger. So a smartphone-free world isn't wholly one thing or the other. There are positivities and negativities when we imagine our lives without them. But for now, the smartphones don't appear to be going anywhere. The world keeps turning and we continue to advance. It's up to us to find a balance between using the tech and remembering what it was that united us before we kept those devices in our pockets. But that's what would happen if smartphones weren't a thing.